morning. Uh, just uh, Governor, uh, Democratic Governor Janet Mills just let the uh, bill become law without her signature that adds Maine's four electoral college votes to the National Popular Interstate Compact, uh, Popular Vote in Interstate Compact, NPVIC. I, uh, I wrote about this uh, about two weeks ago when the Maine legislature passed this, and it ha it's now officially law. Republicans uh, almost unanimously opposed that uh, legislation. The compact's 18 current uh, states, which includes Washington, D.C., so it's 17 states plus D.C., uh, they currently have 209 of the 270 electoral votes needed uh, because Republicans have typically opposed the agreement, uh, writes Stephen Wolf for Daily Co's elections. Uh, because Republicans have typically opposed the agreements, its ultimate passage will likely rely on Democrats winning power in several more states. That could happen by 2028 as there's a, a tough yet real path to victory. Compact moved closer, they note, uh, or Steve Wolf notes, uh, to the 270 mark last year due to Democratic-led drives in Minnesota, which added 10 electoral votes to the compact, and in Nevada, which took the first step in a multi-year process to add its six votes. The, that will happen by 2026. Michigan, the state House committee, advanced a bill uh, to add their 15 electoral votes to the alliance. The Senate, however, has yet to take action. Uh, the House has been tied since November after two Democrats were elected, but there's um, special elections for those seats on, on Tuesday. So um, that's today, actually. So that could, that could move forward, too. Meanwhile, uh, Donald Trump uh, submitted his bond. You'll, requ you'll recall from this kind of, uh, uh, well, say, interesting <laughs> uh, bank guy out in California, the guy who makes his money, uh, you know, uh, harassing people with phone calls when they don't pay their uh, high-interest auto loans. And Letitia James was saying, you know, that ain't right. Uh, you know, the, it's not, you, the guy doesn't have enough collateral and, uh, you know, quack, quack, quack. So they had to, they had to submit their information by midnight yesterday and they did and uh, uh, according to some observers uh, it still may not work they say the 175 million dollar bond is collateralized by 175 million in cash held in a Charles, Charles Schwab account um, but uh, the Daily Beast reads that Knight has a first priority lien on the Schwab account um, so it's getting it's getting weird. I mean, you know, it's entirely possible that Tisha James could be going after Trump's property soon. You are soon. listening to the Tom Hartman program. Call 202-808-9925. Interestingly, this story is getting almost no coverage in the media because everybody's following the you know the the jury selection blow by blow. But this is a big deal.